hi youtube it's kiana i just wanted to come at you with another video while it's peace and quiet in my house and i can do so um if you look behind me you will notice the background is totally different that's because we moved um we moved we've been in this place about two weeks um yeah um I'm, i can't say i'm extremely very happy to be in our own spot yes ma'am yes girl um we moved in um, we were able to find a two bedroom one bath apartment in northern new jersey for 850 a month that doesn't have rats roaches vermin crackheads or anything like that around <laughs> let me stop um yeah so um we did that and um we moved and we got settled there's a little bit like a stuff here and there that needs to be put away but i left work early today so i could do that not really early. I only left work like I got left off work at one o'clock and I got home about like one thirty, two o'clock. And my house is empty because the kids are at aftercare until seven or actually until we pick them up. They can stay till seven but they won't today. And um my while they're doing that I figured, hey, I'll make a video. Um, tell you what's going on. Um, let's see. My hair I washed it last weekend. I threw some braids on the side and I rolled it. All right, I rolled my hair, and I don't know if I want this to turn into a hair video or not because I'm truly not prepared to do a hair video. Um, I have none of the products here or anything like that. Um, I washed my hair with some BO5 clarifying shampoo, like a tea, green tea or something else. Tea, green tea peppermint. It's the green one. I washed it with the clarifying shampoo. That thing. That stuff. Okay, for those of you who are going out and spending, this is probably going to turn into a hair video, but for those of you who are going out and spending more than a dollar on a clarifying shampoo must be crazy because that VO5 cleaned my hair, or why I say it cleaned it, it cleaned it. Like, um, I have like a buildup issue going on, or I had a buildup issue going on, and when I was using my other clarifying shampoos, um, after I would wash and dry my hair, I would look in the mirror and be like a whole bunch of like white nastiness like all through the lock you can see it all through my locks and um sorry I'm trying to make sure i look presentable <laughs> and after i washed my hair with the vo5 i washed it um i even conditioned it i conditioned it for about 10 15 minutes because it really needed it my hair feel, felt dry and so i conditioned it and after i washed that stuff out when i say i looked in the mirror and saw no white nasty buildup stuff i didn't have to use apple cider vinegar this time i usually always do um sorry y'all an apple cider vinegar rinse after um i washed my hair and or before i washed my hair and i didn't have to do one this time so i am a big fan of the vo5 i will go back to my local discount place and get some more when it runs out because it's the bomb.com okay and i didn't have to use that much of it i didn't have to use that much at all um i used my lock loops this is i did my hair saturday night saturday evening so this is a five or six day lock loop and you know this was not successful for me because usually the curls will hold longer but it rained all week long here it rained all week until today today's friday and it hasn't rained yet but it rained every single day which is not good for when you have curls and i used the um talia waji crinkles and curls to set it and this is probably why that's probably the only reason why it lasted this long i'm completely honest because it's been nasty humid disgusting outside lately so um that's what i did um i braided these back secured it with a rubber band and um curl i curled these on their own little individual rollers you see how much curl is left after the weather so yeah and um this style will be coming out um not tomorrow but um probably sunday when i have a day off because i work tomorrow and um this is quick i just get up and go i might throw some lock loops in i mean do y'all see that i'm slushed out do you see like the whole lack of curl that's what happened with the weather see isn't this like pitiful <laughs> like yeah this one little hooky one there but yeah like i have like almost no curl definition left and i should have a lot so um i think i'm gonna re-roll them on sunday and um 
see how long those curls last. I mean, the, I, I'm, the weather just really because my husband wanted to see curls and I wanted to roll it and I did and it looks so pretty the first day. Usually as it wears, it falls and gets a little fluffier and this time it just flew. So I like whatever. Let's see what my eyebrows. Um, they are. I feel them in because I have very very thin eyebrows. They hardly grow in. And um, if I don't color them in, I will look like Whoopi Goldberg's granddaughter's cousin or something. So I fill them in, but I did something different. I got them threaded. I got them threaded literally Easter Sunday. I went in Easter Sunday and got them threaded. And I have not been back yet because there's no hair to thread. Yeah, she threaded that hair and it is not grown back in yet. Hardly grow. I mean, I can't even see the hair. So, um, this has been a mozzy amount of time. I have to go to get my eyebrows done, which is awesome because they last longer. And it's seven bucks to get your eyebrows threaded, which is awesome. Um, when the hair starts to grow back in and starts to look bushy, or it's my version of bushy, I will go and, um, get them read through. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to put it out there. I think I did it in my last video. I will never again get my eyebrows waxed, okay? I will always get them threaded. It didn't hurt as bad as everybody makes it out to be. It didn't hurt hardly at all. I mean, a couple of them were like, ow, that might, that stung. But it wasn't like dramatic. This hurts. Oh, my God. Like, people were making it out to be. It was not like that at all, okay? Um, let's see what else. Work is going good. Um... I will be, however, looking for another job soon. Um, not because I don't like where I work or what I do. It's just that, you know, my husband brought up a point that I have a degree that I earned and have to pay for. And I'm not utilizing it. So, um, I'm going to see if I can move up within the company that I'm in to where that degree is more utilized. And if I can't, then I have to find something else. Um, you have to drop the part-time there and work part-time there and then work another job part-time. Um, because right now I'm just more concerned making sure that all of our ends are meeting together. Um, and so far so good. Um, Hubby has an interview tomorrow. Not tomorrow, I'm sorry. He has an interview Monday. Um, and he is actively searching for a job. And I am so proud of him that he has not gotten discouraged or down on himself or anything like that because I'm extremely proud of him. Um, he wants to start selling insurance with, through his company and he actually took the test for it yesterday and passed it. So I'm extremely proud of him. So um, I know that with us working as a team that we'll make this family work and we'll be good to go. Um, what else? Y'all, I thought I had so much to say to you guys and like I'm at a loss for words because I'm like, goodness, we moved. I'm working still. Um, hubby's looking for a job. The hair. Um, I probably should have made this a hair video. That way, you know, I could show you the products I'm using and the conditioners and stuff. Um, on the conditioner note, I use the Sister Lock Moisture Treatment. Um, as far as coloring my hair, I've decided against it for right now because my hair was so dry. I had to figure out the cause of the dryness. And until I figured out, ah, it's not dry now, but until I figure out the cause of why it was so dry because to me everybody's like your hair is so pretty i'm sitting there like thank you thank you thank you and i'm sitting there cringing like my hair feels so dry and so i don't know um 95.5 percent of it is based on my diet i can tell you that because i don't drink enough water to sustain a small midget monkey let alone a human being so i need to drink more water um that's also probably why my weight is picking up i don't know if y'all noticed that my face looks a lot fuller <laughs> But I'm picking up weight and I need to get it off before it settles in because my mom, my mom said in our family um, once we turn 30 that weight kind of gets in there and doesn't want to move. I refuse to be you know big and chunky. Not that there's anything wrong with my big and chunky beautiful sisters because there's not but it's not healthy for me and I need to be healthy so I can take care of my family and I'm a naturally skinny person. When my husband met me I was 100 pounds even way too small so now that i was at a comfortable weight i just continued to continue to get comfortable you know that spanish but i ate for lunch today really didn't help but it was so good all right um <laughs> regroup um yes yeah, so i'm gonna work on getting this weight off and start working out i have a gym membership to a gym local gym here that's not too far from the kids um child care center for aftercare and i have yet to go so um 
I'm going to start working it out. Because I'm ready to go back and do my reserve thing. And I need to be in shape to do so. So, oh, my hair is just not, I'm not feeling it right now. Um, so, I'm going to do that. I'm also um, considering picking back up my toy business. For those of you who did not know or were not aware, I am a distributor of adult toys for a company called Intimate Expressions. Um, I've been in, on hiatus for the last year. So, um, you know, we were doing a lot of transitioning. So, um, I was on hiatus, but now I think it's the time for me to go ahead and start doing that again. Um, so, I'm going to be picking that back up very, 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 very soon. As a matter of fact, I think my website is actually still active. So, if y'all want the link to that site, let me know. Y'all can look and shop and support your girl. Now, for those of you who hear the word don't toy and cringe, please don't. I do the in-home parties, and they're very, very, very tastefully done. I do not participate in a raunchy mess. I am there to help you spice up your love life, relationship, marriage, suggest new things, you know, and just to have a ball with your girlfriend. So if you're in northern New Jersey area and you want a show, private message me and I will give you details because I'm about to start back up with a vengeance, honey, because this is the season. Um, other than that, that is all, I think. For now, yes. I don't want to keep y'all too, too, too long. But um, if you have comments, leave your comments below. And I will do my best to answer each and every one. Um, thumbs up the video. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We do have a lot of new subbies to welcome. And I apologize that I have not welcomed you personally on each and every one of y'all's pages. But I I work six days a week, y'all. And I'm in my master's program. I have two kids and a husband, and like I just told you in this video, I recently moved. So, we've been very, 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 very busy, but I welcome you to our little family, and I hope that you enjoy the videos. If you have suggestions on what you want to see, please leave it down below, or private message me if you don't want to leave your suggestions for everybody to read. Um, I greatly, 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 greatly appreciate you guys for hanging in there with me. Y'all are the best. Y'all rock. Y'all awesome. And I love, 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 love you. Um, I'm going to see how many subscribers we're at now because if my memory serves me correctly, I should be sponsoring a contest at the 100th. So, as soon as we get to the 100th subscriber, I will be posting that contest video and posting y'all some prizes because I want y'all to flourish and grow and I want to give back to you because y'all give so much to me just by listening to me rumble and rant on. So... Speaking of rant, I do have a video coming about that too. I might find time to do that today, but I don't want to go into it right now because I don't want to be upset about it. But yeah, we're going to talk. We're going to have some intimate conversations. I might call those Kiana's one-on-ones because we need to have a one-on-one. Okay, y'all? Be blessed and I'll talk to you guys soon.